Once more, we embark in the most daunting challenge of all time. It is, of course, devised by Derek. You, who else could devise the most awful prospect in the entirety of video gaming history? Which is not just suffer through 799, but also get the top score. I am overplaying how much quote-unquote suffering that entails because you see I'm still playing a video game that I enjoy playing so it's not like the entire experience is a whole pile of torture there's no reason to go down that way anyway I should have just simply left this damn 1-1 like the piece of garbage it is carry on with my life but thankfully in the last episode the last attempt the last intrepid adventure that we went on just proved so easily that I am actually the greatest and it's only a matter of time until we actually achieve everything that I want to achieve. It was slightly tragic. Let me just leave you in the dust, you little bitch. Uh, slightly tragic. The fact that I could not get into that... Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> I know why, it surprised me. Of course that would happen. Clearly that was gonna happen. I wonder I wonder he did. Well, there goes my crate. I wonder he's dead or just stunned from my incredible uh, manly scream. Either way, I am sure that he will not chase me down. The music's still going on, so that probably means that he is indeed still alive. Can I actually make it there? Oh yeah, look at me. Look at me making it there. It's just to buy three bombs. It's uh, almost worthless to come in here, but totally, totally not worthless. Let me contradict completely the sentence that I just said. Go through this exit. Get me my shotgun, and I think we're good to go. Why am I doing this? Here I am, just, oh, look, it's $5,000 in a diamond. That is what I went out of my way to go and get for some reason. Even though I established quite thoroughly that the money you get in dwellings through maybe all the way to neo babylon and you get to that vault it is largely i won't say inconsequential because you do need some cash to get the challenges done and all that good stuff you, you, you piece of garbage <laughs> the damn arrow traps that face you as literally any other possible distraction maybe taken up your bandwidth they are my nemesis man they are the, my absolute destruction it's just awful every damn time i just now realize that we have the climbing gloves <laughs> even though we've been getting caught in scenery for quite a while what you got down there bud you actually have things that i desire and therefore i'm going to maybe go over here See if they can uh, hate each other, hate each other very much. Have a hate baby full of bullets. Hmm. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I should have anticipated that outcome, but somehow I didn't. The problem is I've been doing HD for too long. I forget that everything is flammable in Spelunky 2. My clothes are flammable. My bandana is flammable. My very thoughts are flammable. The greed in my heart will catch fire if I take my eyeballs off it even for a second. So, you know, it's uh, always something to keep in mind. So now this guy is basically a royal pain in my asshole. I want... I want the jizz, though. The jar full of jizz. It's a vital part of my strategy. Which is to destroy everything in my path. Could use a bomb and a rope to get in there. And quickly sneak my way into that paste. Let's do it. I'm going I'm going to be min-maxing the crap out of this. It is perhaps not the smartest choice I've ever made in my life. Because you see. This oh, you know what? This should work. Get in there and get spiked, bitch. I only have 30 seconds to get this done, though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You scum lord. 
Come in here. Come in here. Get the bike, bitch. Oh, baby. <laughs> Perfection. All right, all right. We actually have a little bit of time. Get Callie some extra flesh. This is how we make it work. This is how we get ahead. I mean, two shopkeepers is not going to be enough, unfortunately. And the ghost is here to haunt me. There's also this idiot, though. Do I dare? Do I dare believe? Do I think the Kali worship is worth it? If the Kapala would be uh, a result that was possible here, I might go for it. But actually, we're, I think, one point. One point away from it. So let's just grab ourselves the shotgun. At least we got a little bit more favor with Cali. We're we're on the on the right track. Oh, oh! I thought he was good. <laughs> so why am I not forgiven? Oh, because I think no, no, no. I did shoot the other shopkeeper. I did the first one, but after that, I did no damage to these people. Once again, we get into this situation where shouldn't I have been forgiven. Shouldn't I have been forgiven? It's starting to weird me out. We don't really want to go that way, do we? Hey, scum lord. Let me just wait you out. I'm going to wait you out. Be patient. Be fruitful in my endeavors instead of getting crushed beneath this fleshy organic demon. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, son. Your destruction was foretold by my mother. She dabbles in astrology. She saw the uh, alignment of Sagittarius with Aries, and he, she was like, yup, that uh, the disgusting mole creature that lives at the bottom of dwellings that we tunneled through uh, a million years ago. There's absolutely no chance that surviving an encounter with my daughter. All right, do something like this with Trigger. I uh, didn't want you to use this ladder to be a pain in my asshole. But you are doing it. So, <laughs> let me see. Maybe I can get in here. This piece of trash will go far, far into the left. It does not work that way. Let's uh, try a little bit harder. We're going to go all the way over here. Don't worry, don't worry. The shopkeeper is now gone. Look at me. Strategizing. God damn it! <laughs> the scum lord this is so annoying. If I go over here, he's gonna climb the ladder and then going to be a real pain in my ass. Alright, everything's good. I uh, tricked the system. I hate this. I hate this fireman. I hate everything that we are witnessing at this moment. Could I maybe arc a shot? Ah! <laughs> Throw all the crap out of me, holy crap. Uh, maybe one of these bullets will fly into that guy. Like, it's not a deal breaker. I'm just saying it's just annoying. Annoying as hell. Wow, I, I am insanely lucky that that pot did not break through the fire of the the little fire bug how the hell no no why is my life this hard one point of health i don't know why i'm coming down this way there was nothing to be gained don't get whittled down man those are like the worst deaths because they're not even funny. You just go, uh, I suffered my last point of damage. I guess I lose. And <laughs> just stop the recording like a total loser. Come on, man. At least make it hilarious. <laughs>